What's up, Sagittarius? It's your girl, Ivy Ladone. Welcome to your November 2023 Oracle reading, where we dive into your energetic field and we discover what themes of life you are moving through for the month of November 2023. We do have an extended reading below in the description box. So go ahead and check that out later to see how you can work your light or better focus your energy and your attention in the month of November 2023. All right, before we do, let's go ahead and dive in. Highest vibrational messages for the sign Sagittarius for the month of November 2023. What themes of life, what chakra, what energy center points is Sagittarius, my friend here, working through? And what chakras should be highlighted, focused on? What should we focus our energy on as Sagittarius? Thank you for these messages, Spirit. All right. So how are you feeling, Sagittarius? By the way, this uh, this can be regarding any situation that you are in, or this can be a theme of life. You know, everything uh, pertains to you as an individual. Okay, so I'm gonna shuffle one more time. You have one card that just came out, um, but again, this can be regarding anything. You know, oh, anything happening in your life at the moment. This can also just be regarding your self development. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. So, um, if you're wondering why, how many shuffles, blah 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 blah, um, I'm I just go with my gut and my feeling. Um, and that first one that came out, uh, I just felt you know like there's more in there, and there was. And if you notice, I don't pull cards. I well, I, I guess the term would be that. I'm so sorry about what did I do to myself. The term would be that. Um, but no, I do not pull the cards. I simply just allow them to come forward. Um, I, this is just the way I communicate with the Oracle. So Sagittarius, are you ready? Okay, my friend, what themes of life are you moving through? What topics are we highlighting in the month of November, 2023 for you? Are you ready? Take a big inhale, big exhale. Also take what resonates, leave the rest. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, show them to you in the way that they came out. I can show them to you numerologically. I can show them to you through the chakra order, but, um, I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you like a, like a story, like the way that they came out. So first card that wants to come through is number 13, 13, the sign, um, you know, divine feminine. That's what 13 really is about. Um, also three and one together is a four, a foundational number. Um, this card is a sacral energy card, and this is feeling the world. All right, so what can we say about this sacral card? So the sacral energy is in your womb area. It's in your pelvic region. For If you're a woman, it's in your womb area. It is really associated with emotions, with creativity, uh, with really the uh, sexual organs, of course, but really it's about birthing yourself in a new way. And it's also regarding just like your, uh, yeah, your emotional self, okay? So, Feeling the world here is a very highly empathic card. So for the month of November 2023, there could be maybe this, you know, overwhelming feeling. You could be feeling a little uh, overwhelmed is the word I want to say. I don't want to I don't want to say burden, you know, burden down because I don't feel that for you. I don't feel like Sagittarius, you're you're feeling burdened down. I feel like you're more just like. Whew, all right, this is like like a lot, but here we go, you know? Um, and so feeling the world is you being very empathic. Also, I do get the sense of you picking up energy, kind of like what's not yours, you know? Um, I say that like that because like, I know that's not what we want to hear sometimes, but like I'm here to tell you what you need to hear for your self-development, you know? Um, and Sagio, which I just want to say, my friend, I, I am picking up intuitively right here too. Also with this card, just pulling it in that, um, you know, you are feeling the world because yes, you're very empathic. Um, and just also in your nature, the way that you are, right. The way that you connect with humans, with people, but you're also because of that to an, to a fault, you're kind of picking energy. That's really not yours. So you're just absorbing stuff. So energetic hygiene, something I would share with you. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, boundaries. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But this is so far the message for you for no November 2023. Okay. You're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, 
feeling the world type of thing you're working on your sacral energy which is lower here two inches below your belly button and it is a an orange hue color okay next card that wants to come forward is number 24 let it go and this is a heart chakra card so pretty self-explanatory here there is a heart um, but yes synchronistically or coincidentally however you want to see this um, this is a heart card this is a heart chakra your heart chakra is right here in the center point of your chest and the heart deals with matters of you know your deepest 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 desires like deepest joy uh emotional but it's less emotional than the sacral it's more like again um abundant energy of joy and love it's pure love your heart is a portal um a portal because you can really with a heart you can go into memory and you can go into the past into the present you can think of a future it's the it's a it, your heart is a lot it's a technology don't let me don't get me started please um <laughs> But something in November 2023, so you're, there's, there's matters of the heart. Um, letting it go means, I think personally, that you are learning how to create boundaries for yourself, if you ask me, because it's feeling the world, so you're kind of like a little overwhelmed. And here it's, you're an empath, man. So you're like, you're, you're so open, like your heart is just here. And you're like, I wanna hear you, I wanna hear about you, I wanna connect with you, I wanna love you, I wanna have fun with you, I wanna uplift you, empower you. like full jupiterian mode you know and jupiter is now in the constellation of taurus so like you're also about values even more now but because of that too just want to say that side note um values you're learning about values and mama papa like it's about whoever's watching right it's about you your values self-worth self-love boundaries you're feeling the world you have this highly empathic gift but at the same time, like you need to create your hygiene, your self-care, right? Routine <laughs> with that, mm, with that veil, with that, so to speak, wall, you know, or boundary, just energetic boundaries. So letting it go, I think, is part of this, you know? Um, I think also like letting it go could be really tied into the just a personal matter, a personal issue that perhaps you do have to let go, meaning it's not up to you to carry. Like again going back to this like you're carrying other people's energies and you know but quite frankly you could be holding a lot of space for people or holding a lot of space for just things or just holding a lot of space and i just i just want to share this this download that i got the other day my laptop is like moving so slowly and i'm like what's going on obviously it's way too full so the amount of energy it's taking for it to just like basically open something up is like forever and it's because of the amount of energy and also it just dies quicker i'm like always having to recharge it and it's because it's just overload a lot of things equally like us if we're constantly constantly holding a lot of energy that means that we also have to go into overdrive for holding in that energy and then we get tired and depleted feeling the world message off of a laptop thank you so um take what resonates leave the rest but i just want to share that you know and like there's there is absolutely nothing wrong with you claiming like your boundaries boo if anything like i'll respect you more i will say absolutely to you boo you know wouldn't that be nice too like to have friends and people like that that you're like absolutely like take all the time you need like reach out to me i'm here whenever you need me um i'll probably check in though in a little bit just to make sure that you're okay uh, but for sure take your time i'm here for you like that's really kind anyways i don't know just want to say that we could be friends are you subscribed okay that's step one okay and third card that comes through is number 19 waking the lion wow sagittarius ow <laughs> i did that i did waking the lion is a solar plexus card so we went all the way down here for the sacral let's go ahead and go two inches above whoop, to the pit of your stomach that is your solar plexus your solar plexus deals with like your individuality but in a sense of like fight or flight response it's about your individuation how do you show up for the things you believe in are you are, are you showing up for the things that you believe in like how do you express and show that out and like energetics right um it's it's about that but in your energy body so waking the line is about exactly that it's like about you tapping actually into that fight response the solar plexus is about either the fight you go for it and you're like yeah i am gonna build that business or like oh no i don't know i don't know i don't know it's easier this way like i don't know so this card is actually taking the approach of the fight it's actually like in the yeah i'm gonna do it so i think this is excellent i think this is great use up that jupiterian energy boo please and 
ultimately, I just want to say that for the month of November 2023, you are, I think, just evolving. I think you're you're learning, you're growing, you're growing up, you're maturing emotionally too. I think that you're realizing like, listen, like I, I, I have a lot to give. I see that I'm a great person. I have a, it's not even about being a person. It's just about the heart and the love that I want to be there for people and what I want to offer to people in that way. Um, right. And like, as a, as a Sag, like, you know, you're just, you're, you just Jupiter. Hello, Jupiter. People can hate, but like, it's true Jupiter. So, um, you do have all of this stuff, but like at the same time, like, you know, give it out equally. And also like you matter the most out of all this because all of that wouldn't exist if you weren't here. <clears throat> Throat shock or acting up because I'm speaking the truth to you. So like, please take five, um, or take 10 or whatever you need to take, but like definitely create boundaries for yourself. And I think that's what's happening in November because you have waking the lion here. Because it's like, I'm here. Don't play with it. Thank you. Bottom of the deck for you, just want to say, is number 45, Beyond the Ordinary. And it is the crown chakra. So all of that work that you're doing in November with waking the lion and creating boundaries, I believe is all serving your spirituality. It's transcending you. It's evolving you, quite literally, spiritually speaking. Um, so you're doing soul work stuff right now. I just want to say too, by the way, my friends, thank you so much for this reading. Also, if you enjoyed this, please give this a like, like hug the like button, hug it, um, or subscribe, become part of the family. Okay. Um, if you would like to learn how to maybe activate more of this solar plexus energy, like in November, take a look at this video. It is a dance cardio, like follow along. It is going to help you like tap into that badass and unapologetic self. I highly recommend it. Also, last thing, get to know how you can work your light in the month of November 2023 and how to focus your energy with this energy, with this card in the extended reading below. Other than that, Saji, I love you and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Mwah.